Good morning, students. I hope you are all well and uh, being healthy, safe in your environment. Today, the topic that we will study is graphs and charts, which is unit number 17 of your books. Okay, what is a chart? A chart of information in the form of table, graph, or a diagram. You can see so many different types of charts in your daily life. For example, I've given two. One is your garment star, in which you will have your sizes chart. The other chart that I'm, uh, I've given as an example is the nutrition facts chart that you can see behind your snacks. This is a lace chips. You can see the nutrition facts chart. Then you can see on the behind your bottles, behind your dairy products behind your biscuits, everywhere. These are the charts. Then what is a graph? Graphs are drawings that show mathematical information with lines, shapes and colors. Graphs are also known as charts. People use graphs to compare amounts of things or other numbers like graphs are useful, very, very useful because they can be easily understand the numbers and works. And now, for example, if I would show you a diagram in which the uh, yeah, if I would show you a diagram like this, these are the three types of graphs. If I would show you this, you can easily see the green is the longer one and the orange one is the smaller one. So this is a type of graph. S same goes, this is known as bar graph. This is a line graph in which uh, the data has explained with the help of a line. You can also see the ups and downs. The best example of line graph is your heartbeat. Remember, the heartbeat has gone ups and downs so you can see how it goes. This is the third type of graph which is known as pie chart. It, it represented in form of a circle and with different sectors in it. Colored, uh, it can be represented in uh, numbers or presentation, uh, percentages as well. We will discuss only bar graph and line graph in this topic. For pie chart, we will make another video. Okay, what is a bar? This is a bar graph example. Now let me explain we have x-axis and y-axis, right? On x-axis, we have types of fruits. On y-axis, we have number of people from which we have uh, collected the information. Now, do remember, graphs are always made after collecting information from certain people. In this scenario, we would uh, uh, think that we have 40 people with us who have told their favorite fruits. Now, uh, in this scenario, we can easily see that the most loved fruit is blueberry and the least favorite is grapes. Apple uh, is appreciated or loved by 35 people. Orange is liked by 30 people. Banana is by 10. Kiwi fruit is liked by 25 people. Blueberry by 40 and grapes only by 5 people. So this is how you interpret your bar graphs, right? How you can see them, how you can uh, take out information out of them. Okay, the next type is line graph. Now, this is a line graph in which you can see the time on the x-axis okay, and number of people visited in the store on your y-axis. Now, at 10 a.m., only two people were in the store. At 11 a.m., five. 12, where uh, after 12 p.m., 10 people. 1 p.m., 22. 2 p.m., 15. 3 p.m. 5, 4 p.m. is 4, 5 p.m. again 4 people and by 6 p.m. we have only 3 people. By this line graph you can see at 1 p.m. it was maximum number of people there and at 10 a.m. it was the minimum number of people. So that's how you interpret line graph. Now let's draw and read line graph with two help of worksheets. This is our first worksheet. All right, we have uh, the first we will draw a bar graph with the help of this table, this information actually, the data we have collected. This is a one day of school and we have uh, collected the means of transportation from the students and then we have asked the number of students. One has been already uh, solved which, may, which means by walk 11 person came so we have highlighted that. Now let's do for the other people, right? By car, we have 10. So this is our car, right? We will draw a bar graph here. And this is 10. So it will be made like this. See how easy. Then bike. Bike has 7. So 7 will come between 8 and 6. So here is the middle point, And we will make our bar for bike. For bus, we have 4. 
So this is a 4, we'll make a bar for bus like this. See how easy it is. Now we have completed drawing bar graph. So after drawing bar graph, we have to write down the answers for it. Let's choose a pen now. We have solved the first question. Use the table to complete the bar graphs, right? Now next, how did most people children come uh, that day? Uh, according to this data, 11 people came by walk. So we will write down walk. Please. I'm not a professional in this one. I'm really, really trying to control the mouse. Sorry. Okay, the next one is how many children came by car then by bike? So we are comparing, right? So car came 10 and bike came 7. So how many more people come? 3. So here we will write down 3, right? How many children either walked or came by bike? So either means addition walked and bike let's add them together 11 plus 7 which is 18 see how easy this is not for me because i have to write it like this you guys will be using pens and pencils how many children came in the car or in the bus came in the car or by bus means we are adding 10 plus 4 it's 14 okay how might the data be different if it was a rainy day? That means by, they cannot come by bike or by walk. So it's only by car and bus. So we can write here easily. Transportation would be car and bus. So you will write the full sentence. People will only use two mediums to come to the school, which is car and bus. The last question is how many children are there in the class that day? So we will add up all these values up and we know how many students. 11 plus 10, 21 plus 7, 28 plus 4, 32. See? 32 students. Now, this is how we have solved this one. Let's go to the next one which is line graph. Now, how to draw line graph? This is our data. This is our graph. The On x-axis we have days. On y-axis we have number of bikes, miles, which they have traveled, the bike. Now on Monday uh, he started with 40 miles. So this is our 40, correct? Okay. Let's choose to solve this one. Okay. Yes. Um, blue. Okay, 40 is the first line. Let's go with Tuesday. It's 55. So Tuesday is 55. It means from here till 40. You will use rulers, please. Okay, number 2 is Wednesday. Wednesday it's 70. So we'll go to 70 and join these two points. Then the third, fourth day it's 80. Thursday is 80. It's a little higher than all others. So we'll join these two together. Friday 65. We'll go on Friday. 65 comes between these two numbers. And the last is Saturday which is 50. So we will go here on 50 and join them together. That's how we've completed our line graph. It was very easy, right? Now you can interpret the maximum number of miles they've covered was on Thursday. The minimum was on Monday, right? So let's get rid of all of this. And this is your home task. These are the two worksheets that you people will be solving. The links will be given separately in the homework bar in your Google Classrooms. You have to solve it. This is for line graph and this is for bar graph. Alright, you know how to solve line graphs and these are the questions that you have to answer after solving or making the drawing the line graph and this is your bar graph. Let me help you out in solving the bar graph, right? Let me show you how to do it. First one is Adam. We have to make a bar graph of Adam which is 40 
so this column will be used for Adam here is the sign 40 so these four boxes will be colored right I am just highlighting that four boxes you will color these box every person will be used with different color Adam green Maria pink Scott Brown Frank blue and Linda orange so you'll color them up you'll get a graph and then you will answer all of these questions this is your home task I hope you have fun and you will take care of yourself and you will practice more and more of these worksheets online take care bye bye